Hello and welcome to the third lesson in the U.S. Citizenship Preparation class. Classes are brought to you through the Citizenship Teachers at the Gilchrist Immigrant Resource Center with special thanks to teacher Daniel McCall for providing the curriculum. For a quick review test on some of last week's civics questions, I chose six questions for the quiz. I will ask the question and then go over the answers. So please pause the video so you have time to answer the question before I show you the answers. Let's see how you do. So, first question. Who lived in America before the Europeans arrived? Who lived in America before the Europeans arrived? American Indians or Native Americans? Those are two ways of saying the same answer. So, choose just one answer. You can say it either way, either way. There were 13 original states. Name three. There were 13 original states. Name three. Any of these three will do. New Hampshire, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, Connecticut, New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Delaware. Uh, Maryland, Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina, and Georgia. Next question. Why did the colonists fight the British? Why did the colonists fight the British? Because of high taxes, taxation without representation. Because the British army stayed in their houses because they didn't have self-government. When was the Declaration of Independence adopted? When was the Declaration of Independence adopted? July 4th, 1776. Make sure you say that whole date. July 4th, 1776. Who wrote the Declaration of Independence? Who wrote the Declaration of Independence? That was Thomas Jefferson, or just Jefferson. What are two rights in the Declaration of Independence? What are two rights in the Declaration of Independence? Life, liberty, the pursuit of happiness. So remember there you need two answers and they give you three choices. Okay, life, liberty, the pursuit of happiness. Okay, very good. All right, so I hope you did well on those six questions. If you got them all right, then you just pass the test. No problem. All right, let's try one reading and one writing sentence from last week. Try reading this sentence. I hope you read, Who is the father of our country? Who is the father of our country? Very good. Now, grab your pencil and paper and write this sentence down. Washington is the father of our country. Okay, I'll say it two more times and then pause the video, write it down, okay, and then check. Washington is the father of our country. Washington is the father of our country. It should look something like that, or it should look like that, right? Washington is the father of our country. We're going to talk today about the U.S. Constitution. And we're going to learn 12, I think 12 civics questions today. 
First things first, let's get started with those key words. Practice your pronunciation. First word, elect. Elect. Elect means to choose through a voting process. Constitution. Constitution. The Constitution is the highest law of the U.S. Amendment. Amendment. An amendment is an addition or change to the Constitution. Bill of Rights. Bill of Rights. The Bill of Rights are the first 10 amendments to the Constitution. Constitutional Convention. Constitutional Convention. That is the meeting held to write the U.S. Constitution. Okay, a convention is a meeting with many people. So the Constitutional Convention, that was the meeting to write the U.S. Constitution. Federalist Papers. Federalist Papers. The Federalist Papers were a series of newspaper articles discussing the U.S. Constitution before it was written. So, we have three important documents in the U.S. government. Three very important documents. We have the Declaration of Independence. We have the Constitution. And we have the Bill of Rights. Okay, let's talk about them. So, let's talk about the U.S. Constitution. So remember last week we talked about the Declaration of Independence, right? So now we're going to talk about this Constitution. The U.S. Constitution is called the supreme law of the land. No law can go against the Constitution. Okay. It sets up and defines the government, and it protects the basic rights of Americans. So the Constitution establishes the basic principles of the U.S. government. It allows citizens to choose representatives to make laws, and it allows us, uh, the citizens to choose a president. Okay. So the U.S. Constitution is what the framers made to set up our government. And we're going to talk more about that in a little bit. The idea of self-government is in the first three words of the Constitution. They are, we the people. With the words, we the people, the Constitution states that the people set up the government. The government works for the people and protects the rights of the people. The power to govern comes from the people. Okay, we the people. We're breaking away from the royalty and all that from, from England. We don't want the king and the queen. We want the people to rule themselves. We want to self-govern. So the Founding Fathers wrote the Constitution at the Constitutional Convention held in 1787. They created a whole new system of government. We also have the Federalist Papers. The Federalist Papers were 85 articles written for New York newspapers explaining to the people why the state should ratify the Constitution. They wanted everyone to vote yes to this Constitution. The papers were then, these Federalist Papers were then used by other states to get the people in other states to say yes to the Constitution. And in fact, today, people still read the Federalist Papers to help them understand the Constitution. 
They were written by James Madison, Alexander Hamilton, and John Jay. All three men use the name Publius on their articles. It's kind of a pseudonym. Okay. All right, we have Alexander Hamilton here. You'll find Alexander Hamilton on the $10 bill. See him? Alexander Hamilton was also, um, oh, wait a minute, let's see. Oh, wait, right here, yes, sorry. He's also the subject of a very popular Broadway play at the moment, right? Okay, all right, moving on to someone else, not a part of the Federalist Papers, but Benjamin Franklin was an important and very influential founding father. Benjamin Franklin was a U.S. diplomat. He was the oldest member of the Constitutional Convention. He was the first U.S. Postmaster General. He was a writer of Poor Richard's Almanac. And he started the first free libraries. Okay. You can find Benjamin Franklin here on the $100 bill. Okay. Now, going back to the Constitution, let's discuss some things that needed changing once this was written. The framers of the Constitution knew that laws can change as a country grows. So they allowed for some changes or additions, but they didn't make it easy to accomplish. But an amendment is a change or an addition to the Constitution. And right now, the Constitution has 27 amendments. So it has been changed or added to 27 times. So the first 10, so there's 27. So the first 10 of those 27 amendments are called the Bill of Rights. The first 10 amendments to the Constitution are the Bill of Rights, and they protect the basic rights of Americans. Okay? When the framers wrote the Constitution, they didn't really focus on individual rights. They were mainly focused on setting up the, the large government, right? So the people were a little upset. They were okay with the kind they were okay with the Constitution, but they wanted to make sure their individual rights were protected. So that's what these, this Bill of Rights does, okay? It protects the basic rights of Americans, and it states what the government cannot do. Now, in those first 10 amendments, let's just talk about the very, very first amendment. The rights or freedoms guaranteed under the First Amendment include, um, these are the ones that you hear about a lot, right? Freedom of speech, freedom of religion, freedom of assembly, freedom of the press, freedom to petition the government. So we have freedom of speech, freedom of religion, freedom of assembly. People wanted to be able to gather peacefully. Uh, freedom of the press, the newspapers, to be able to print freely, both uh, a for the government, against the government. They wanted that free press to be able to report about what was happening. And then freedom to petition the government in order to be able to change laws or acts that, they, that people think that aren't fair or aren't right. We want to be able to say, we need to change these things. So the very first amendment, these are the rights guaranteed under the first amendment. Okay, of those 27. Okay, so freedom of speech is the right that allows open discussion and debate on public issues. It is the right to speak freely. Freedom of religion is you can practice any religion or not practice a religion. And Congress may not pass laws that establish an official religion and they may not limit religious expression. That is freedom of religion. Get those index cards out or cut up pieces of paper to continue making your flashcards, right? Okay, first question. What does the Constitution do? 
what does the Constitution do? It sets up the government. It defines the government. Protects the basic rights of Americans. Okay, so there's three answers there. Just need one answer. Okay, so you just need to remember one. You can write one on one of those on the back of your flashcard. Next question. What is the supreme law of the land? What is the supreme law of the land? I hope everybody got this. The Constitution. The Constitution. What happened at the Constitutional Convention? What happened at the Constitutional Convention? The Constitution was, was written. The Constitution was written. The Founding Fathers wrote the Constitution. Either way. When was the Constitution written? When was the Constitution written? We're looking here for a date, right? When? 1787. 1787. The idea of self-government is in the first three words of the Constitution. What are these words? We the people. We the people. The Federalist Papers supported the passage of the Constitution. Name one of the writers. Just one. You can choose from James Madison, Alexander Hamilton, John Jay, or Publius. Okay. And again, the in parentheses, you don't need, you can say Madison, Hamilton, J. Okay, you don't need the parentheses. What is one thing Benjamin Franklin is famous for? What is one thing Benjamin Franklin is famous for? He was a U.S. diplomat. He was the oldest member of the Constitutional Convention. The first postmaster general of the United States, the writer of Poor Richard's Almanac, started the first free libraries. Any one of those. Now, he did other things, but remember, stick to the answers that are there, okay? Make it easy. What is an amendment? What is an amendment? A change to the Constitution, an addition to the Constitution. You can just say a change or you can just say an addition. It's okay. What do we call the first 10 amendments to the Constitution? What do we call the first 10 amendments to the Constitution? They are the Bill of Rights, the Bill of Rights. Okay. What is one right or freedom from the First Amendment? What is one right or freedom from the First Amendment? Speech, religion, assembly, press, petition the government. Okay, just one of those. What is freedom of religion? What is freedom of religion? You can practice any religion or not practice a religion. How many amendments does the Constitution have? 27. 27. Okay, very good. 
Those were the questions you need to study for next week. Add to your pile, right? Okay, we have 12 more questions. Excellent. All right, I want to go over this really quickly here because last week we talked about the Declaration of Independence and now we're talking about the Constitution. So just be careful because some of these questions can get confusing because they sound similar. And especially if you're in the situation where you're a little nervous during the interview and you're going fast, be careful of questions that, that sound alike. So for example, what are two rights in the Declaration of Independence compared to what is one right from the First Amendment? Okay, so what are two rights in the Declaration of Independence? Those are, you know, life, liberty, pursuit of happiness. And then what is one right from the First Amendment? There's a speech, religion, you know, press, okay? So just keep those separated. Next one. When was the Declaration of Independence adopted? When was the Constitution written? So when was the Declaration of Independence adopted? July 4th, 1776. When was the Constitution written? 1787. Okay, two different dates. What did the Declaration of Independence do? What does the Constitution do? So what did the Declaration of Independence do? It said the United States was free or it declared our independence from Great Britain. What does the Constitution do? It sets up our government. Okay, so just they just get confusing, especially once they're all in mixed up with the other hundred. Okay, so be careful of those. All right, let's see. Oh, let's do a couple reading and writing sentences before we go. Go ahead and read this one to yourself. I will read it out loud. Name one right in the Bill of Rights. Name one right in the Bill of Rights. And let's write this sentence. Freedom of speech is one right. Freedom of speech is one right. Okay, write these down to study them, please. Read. When is Columbus Day? When is Columbus Day? Write this down. Columbus Day is in October. Columbus Day is in October. Okay, practice those. How about this one? Read. What city was the first capital of the United States? What city was the first capital of the United States? Okay, try this sentence to write. New York City was the first capital. New York City was the first capital. Okay, looks like that. Let's do another one, one more. Who was the second president? Who was the second president? And how about writing this sentence? Adams was the second president. Adams was the second president. There you go. And that's it for the third class. Oh my goodness, please join us for class number four to continue your lessons. If you click on that subscribe button above, you will get the next lesson delivered right to your inbox. Let us know if you have any questions below and we will try to get answers for you or point you in the right direction. Thank you all once again. Thanks for watching. It means a lot to us. Take care and stay safe out there.